I'm very fortunate in that I get to come up here and present the apps that we create. Uh, that my husband and I up on the box office upstairs create. Greg writes all the code. He's the genius that makes all my crazy and stupid ideas uh, practical and happen and sometimes brings his own ideas. So all good software comes from a very personal need. And Find a Cat is a, was a need from a guy we ran into at the, the Final Cut Pro 10 Creative Summit last year. And he said, wouldn't it be great if we could take all of the keywords from Final Cut Pro and make them finder tags? Now, I guarantee that if I ask, 85 to 90% of people in this room are going to say, what's, again, not going to know what a finder tag is. It's a way in Finder of tagging things. Um, well, if you use colours, they are Finder tags, but um, who knows what might come up. Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have, you know, home, important, lifting, trailer, work, other tags. Um, on my non-demo system, I actually have a lot of tags for icons for each of our applications. Tags are a free-form way of organising your information as opposed to the older fashioned way of organising information in folders and subfolders based on that old desktop metaphor. So it's a move on from that desktop metaphor. And if you've ever thought that you might need asset management, if it's ever crossed your mind, use this first if you're using Final Cut Pro 10, because most people who buy an asset management tool never use it or never use it to the fullest capacity. It's not the cost of the tool, it's the cost of getting all of your data in there. Now, Everything is already entered in Final Cut Pro. This is a project that I meticulously logged at the end of every day shooting, and it's also the project that caused me to create what has become Lumberjack, which is real-time uh, keywording and pre-editing for Final Cut Pro 10. That's another demo. This is the other end of the, the task. You've done everything, you've meticulously logged everything, but you've got it locked into a library. You can use a tool like Arctic Whiteness's Library Manager to search across all the library, but that's effectively another asset management tool. Apple have given us a very powerful asset management tool inside the Finder. It manages all of your digital assets on your computer. That's what it does. And so we created, Greg came up very quickly within a month, the basic Finder Cat, which Finder Cat simply takes the tags, the, the keywords in Final Cut Pro 10, and makes them tags in the finder. And it is so complicated to use. You drag the event or the library and drop it on the finder cat icon. And there you've got a list of all of the, the, the keywords that were applied. Not every keyword is going to make a useful finder tag. For this particular project, I used a quote as, my, as a way of saying there's a something on here that I want to use. And I'm going to turn that off because it, it's too range specific and tags apply to the whole clip, which is great and, as we'll see in a minute, a limitation. All I need to do now is say, add the keywords and we've got a progress bar going on there. If I swap over to Finder and go back from where I had, we can see all the Finder tags being added in their own multiple multi-threaded um, process so that they're being added to the clips so that you can now search in the finder and find all these clips. I wish there was a way of fast forwarding. Thank you. Yes. I wish there was a way to fast forward this part of the demo. I should have a good joke prepared or something. Get up and sing. Set up and sing. Yeah. It's one of the few songs that I, one of the few apps that I don't have a song for yet. I think uh, Find a Cat could go to the Spider-Man theme. I'm coming to that conclusion. So, find a cat, find a cat, find a cat. Anything you find a can do, find a cat can do, or something like that. <laughs> okay, um, so we have uh, now all of our tags in here, and we could go to search by tag, we could do a lot of things, but you'll find that uh, Finder is very flexible. You just go into any search dialog, even in an open dialog, and say um, across, and it'll start to automatically find the tag. So I'm just going to sort for everything that was across the river and on the uh, launch day. So I don't even have to go into it. And now I've got a combined filter so that I, everything from launch day and shot across the river are now, gain, are, are now selected. I can just drag these back to Final Cut Pro if I set up an import folder. And for many, in many versions now, Final Cut Pro has automatically taken finder tags and applied them as keywords to the clips. It's one of the things that you can do, like folder names, find a tag, and it also be applied. Um, and so if I just drag those back, 
to Final Cut Pro, we see we've now got those, those five keywords that were applied to those clips I dragged back. <laughs> <laughs> You can also search date range. If we go into the full find um, functionality, we can um, add different parameters. We've got the kind of file. So I want to find my uh, still images with the, these tags. I want to find movies or MP4 files or some, some specific file type. Created date, um, the name, the contents. This is all integrated with Finder Tag. So if you want to find out um, which uh, across the river on a three or four different dates or in a date range, you could do that. If you wanted to look at constructing this boat over a six week range, just the clips from that. The big advantage is this is cross um, library. Once you apply the tags, they're in Finder, they're not locked into a Final Cut Pro 10 library. I loved this app when we released it. And I absolutely hated what we were doing. Because rule number one in our place is do not lose metadata. Unfortunately, we're back to the original clip names. We've lost all of the range information that we had and we've lost all of the other metadata that we, we created. So while we've created a powerful uh, filtering and searching tool in the Finder, allowing Finder to be our uh, asset management tool, we've kind of lost important metadata and that breaks my heart because metadata is dear and deep in my soul. It's very, very important to me, and losing it is, is almost like losing a pet. Uh, it's that important. Like a cat? Maybe a cat, yeah. <laughs> not, not a pet you're really attached to. <laughs> or it's attached to you. <laughs> but, so, even from the very beginning, we realised we were going to have to do something more. And what we started to do right from day one was we injected the XML into the file uh, the XML that represented the keywords into the file itself so that it always travelled with the file. Turns out when we decided to actually make Finder Cat Pro that we needed more information and so we released an update in February that started to inject the correct information that we would need and this happens even if you only have the basic level of Finder Cat. Finder Cat is 19.95 in the Mac App Store. It gives you the ability to put all of the keywords onto as Finder tags and injects the protection metadata into the file. At this point, your file can go anywhere in the world and with Finder Cat Pro, you can recover all of the metadata from that. Finder Cat Pro is a $30 upgrade in-app purchase. Not my favorite thing right now because it let us down badly today, so. Is it still down? Uh, the the in-app purchase server seems to be, seem to have been down this afternoon, so. Um, my very clever husband built a, a beta build of the app for me to use that didn't require checking. Yes? <laughs> is this uh, PC compatible or do you have a It is only for Final Cut Pro 10 and it's, therefore it is only for OS, Mac OS. Um, if you, this is of no use if you're using any other app. Um, Adobe already inject XMP metadata into the file, so I'm kind of getting over a little over my Adobe jealousy here uh, by providing the same feature. So if we, if we upgrade the $30 edition, and as I said, you have the protection, you don't have to pay the extra unless you want to recover all that metadata. If you have the file though, you do have the metadata. So if I take exactly those same clips again, but instead of going to Final Cut, I drag them to Find a Cat, it's actually out of beta, it's just that we had to, a limitation to get around the Mac App Store. And send it to Final Cut Pro 10, send it into that same library. And now I have all of my original clip names, all of my ranges. I have all of the notes that I made. Um, if you injected Speedscriber metadata in, you would get all of your speakers and your, uh, your transcripts back again. Cool. All markers, all marker ranges, everything is exactly the way it was when it, it was uh, in Final Cut Pro 10 before. As I said, the file can go anywhere in the world. As long as you have the file, you have every bit of metadata that you injected in, you, you created in Final Cut Pro 10 back in Final Cut Pro 10. It, it can't get lost if, you're, if you have to go through data recovery and you get the file back, you get your metadata back as well. So that's the Finder Cat Pro at $50, the $20 initial purchase and a $29.99 in-app upgrade to Finder Cat Pro. But even the base version gives you all the protection that your work is going to be there when you, when you need it. And that is it. That's, um, that's Find a Cat and Find a Cat Pro.